The video today is going to be on my uh, March update from my sampled out project. Um, Wisconsin Mom Mandy started this project up and it's just to use up your samples that you get and you know either post a picture on Instagram or you know somebody that's doing the project you can go ahead and just let us know how you're doing or obviously if you make a YouTube video. So for the month of March this is what I got. Starting out, I, I know I thought I always look down because I have my little I have my little notes. What I'm gonna do too, just to make it go a little bit quicker, is I'll just like how I normally do, I'll post the um, the prices up on the corner. So where you see um, S, I mean F S V, that's the full size value of what the product would be, and then obviously S V would be the sample value. So the first thing was the Pond's wet cleansing towelettes in original scent. This came from the, I believe this came from the Walmart uh, winter box. Um, there were five towelettes in here. I'll say, actually I'll say what the sample size value is. Five towelettes came in the package. Um, I believe in the full size, uh, it's 30 towelettes. But um, you got five here. I love the, uh, the Pond's brand. I actually, I mean I like a little bit better. I like the, um, what is this one? This is the with chamomile and white tea. This is the evening soothe one. So I like this one a little bit more. Uh, but I do, I love the Pond's. This is one that I always repurchase. This and the Neutrogena ones I really like. But um, yeah, definitely would repurchase like these a lot. They take off, you know, all your face makeup. They don't do so great on the eyes. Um, they could take a little bit off of it, but uh, it takes off everything off my face. So really like that. The next thing I also got, actually the next two, uh, well, the next three items I actually got with the Walmart Beauty Box. It was the Dove Oxygen Moisture Conditioner and Shampoo, or shampoo and Conditioner. And it is for fine, flat hair. So that's what these two look like. These were both one ounce each. And for the full size, it is a 12 ounce bottle. Um, I wouldn't repurchase these. I mean, you guys know how I am with my hair. Um, I mean, it's something that I saw a huge difference. I mean, it had a nice, you know, clean scent to it, but nothing where, I mean, I thought it, you know, worked really, really good for my hair or anything like that. So, I mean, it's something that I wouldn't repurchase again. The next thing also came from the Walmart Beauty Box, and this was the Dove Deep Moisture um, Nourishing Body Wash, and this was a 1.8 fluid ounce, and the full size goes for 22 ounces. This I actually would repurchase. It had a very nice, like, soft, clean smell to it. It was more of, it's like a lotion texture. When you put it on, like almost like a lotion or a cream texture. So it lathered up really, really well. Um, and it did. It, it made my skin nice and nice, uh, nice, nice and nice. It made my skin nice and soft um, afterwards. So I definitely would repurchase this again. I liked it a lot. So that was that. The next item was the Strivectin Tightening Neck Cream. And this was, let's see, this was uh, 0.25 ounces. And the full size is 1.7. Now, just like you said, it's all, all gone. Um, this lasted quite a bit, um, you know, because you only needed a little bit. You obviously put it on your neck area and stuff like that. Um, I didn't notice anything about it tightening my neck. And like I said, it lasted a good while for you to really see if the product worked or not. For me, I didn't like it. Um, and I'll just say with the full size value, it was $95. So for $95, um, it should look like I have absolutely like nothing on my neck and like very tight and <laughs> it didn't at all. So this is not a repurchase for me. The next one was the Matrix Biolage Fiber, Fiber Strong Fortifying Cream. This was a 0.23 ounce um, foil packet. And the full size goes for 6.8 ounces. This one I did actually like. And I, you know how I always say about my hair, it's like nothing works on my hair. This was really nice because if I remember correctly, because it's been a while since I used it. I honestly can't really remember. I have to start making like better notes of as I'm using things, how they work instead of like after. But this I believe that you put it in your hair after you came out of the shower. And I just remember it making my hair, it was like almost like a leave-in conditioner. And um, I just remember that, I mean, it smelled nice, but it made my hair very soft. Um, it made my hair less frizzy. 
Um, my hair, you know, because it is so curly, not so like just out of control. So I really did like it and I did put down that I would repurchase this again. So this was a yes for me. The next item was the Vichy 3-in-1. It's basically, what is it? It's a one-step cleanser, sensitive skin. It's a cleansing milk, a toner, and an eye makeup remover. And this was a one fluid ounce. And the uh, full size is 6.76 ounces, 6.76 ounces. So it says this is a, like a lightweight, no rinsing required. This I would never repurchase ever again, or not, not that I purchased it, but I would never repurchase it. First of all, it's a, um, you know, it's like a lotion type of a, a texture. It's not like gel or, um, you know, like sudsy or anything like that. It's just a very like a thin like almost like I said, like a, like a lotion or a moisturizer. And then you put it around your face and everything. But it says like no rinsing required. It just, I, my, my face felt so dirty really after using this. I felt like it didn't clean really the, my, you know, I, I feel like it didn't clean my face good. I felt like it really didn't take away any kind of the like makeup. I still, I literally had to still go in after this and do remove my eye makeup with an eye makeup remover as well as cleanse my face again because it felt just so, just so disgustingly dirty. So this is a no, no, never. The next thing, this I really loved. This was the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm Temporary Face Tightener. <laughs> uh, this was a zero, I'm sorry, this was a .068 like little foil packet and the full size goes for 3.4 ounces this I will repurchase in a heartbeat now I will say well before I get to that I have to read my little notes so it says it temporarily reduces the lines on your forehead crow's feet in large pores etc and then what you do is you clean and dry your face and then you apply a, you know, a thin layer of this and then try not to make any kind of expressions or like that. You have to basically remain expressionless for like seven minutes. And then if you see like some dry patches or like a little bit of residue, you just go ahead and you just try to either take it off with your finger or sometimes you need to put like a little bit of water and take it away. I'm telling you when I say this and I'm not even kidding. I, there's only one question I have about it. I gotta either, I gotta, I mean I did read up on it but I couldn't find my answer. But it also says you can mix this with your foundation or moisturizer. I did not try that, so I don't know how that works. I just basically washed my face, I dried it, and I put this on. And there on their website, it says that you can leave it on, I think it was up to, uh, was it 20, 30 minutes or an hour? It was something like that. I, I, I used this a, a while ago. But when I say, seriously, when I say this, and I'm not lying, <laughs> you can seriously feel I know I keep saying seriously you can feel your face tighten within minutes and it was such a weird feeling because I've never it, it felt like somebody literally like stuck a little hole in my cheek and put a vacuum over it it just was like sucking in my face oh you know seriously I'm such an idiot but it's true it tightened my face like it really looked like I've got a facelift. I'm not even kidding you. There was no sagginess. It was like this. It was so tight. I loved it. The only thing, and this is what I got to ask about. The only thing is, is it was like, because it was so tight, I was nervous to put makeup over it. I tried it one time and I, I must have not gotten like all well, the, the little residue that was still left over off. Because the foundation was coming up like like as dry patch, like you know when you get like dry patches on your face. So it was looking a little bit like that. But other than those couple little spots, my skin looked like flawless. I mean as far as nice and like just I like just so tight. That's the only way I can really describe it. So if you don't like like your skin feeling tight that way, then this is something that you would not like at all. But if you want a temporary look like, you know, like I said, where you really don't see lines and your just skin looks so smooth and everything, you would love this. I am definitely repurchasing this. I just got to find somehow 
out. Like, I gotta find out somehow, like, just as far as with putting the makeup over it. Because that was the only little thing that I did find that, like, I, I came into a problem with. Like, again, and that could have just been on my part. I wasn't doing it right as far as I didn't take away all the residue that was there. But other than that, I absolutely love, love, love this. Yes. So the next thing was the um, Kula Mineral S Sunscreen with the SPF of 30. It was the matte tint. And this was a 0 0.02 ounce and, no this wasn't, I'm lying. This is 0 0.17 and then the full bottle would go for 1.7. Um, you know how I feel about BB creams. I just seriously, and again, this is just for me. I maybe not have found the right one for me, but I just really don't think they do absolutely anything. So I, this is a no for me. It just did nothing. The next thing is the Oil Regenerist Micro Sculpting Cream. And this was a 0.02 ounce uh, foil packet. And the full size would be 1.7 ounces. And this, I mean, again, I mean, it says lifts and sculpts for younger looking skin. I mean, it's a foil packet, so it wasn't enough product for me to see how I really liked it. I mean, there's a little sign on it or like a little saying that says visible wrinkle results starts day one. Oh, I didn't say any of that. So, I mean, it's not that something I would buy. The next packet or the foil packet is from Essilor. It's the soothing cream. And this was... I think this was a, yeah, this was 0.17 ounce, and then the full size is 1.7. This, I wouldn't repurchase <clears throat> just because of the price of it. The full size was like $65, um, and it wasn't enough for me to see, like, you know, consistently for several or like a week or so to see how I really liked it. It was a nice cream. I mean, it was, but it wasn't anything that I thought was worth the $65. The next item, we're almost done. The next item is the UB Moisturizing Skin Cream. This is 0.10 ounces. And the full size is 1.25. Um, this is another no for me. I wouldn't buy it. It says that you can use this on, what is this, dry skin or lips. I use this on my lips and I didn't like it at all for my lips. It just, I didn't like it at all for my lips. It, I felt like I was putting like lotion on my lips. I just didn't like it. I'm more, I guess, of a like, I don't know, waxy or like a lip balm, that type of, of uh, texture. Um, but I didn't like this at all for my lips. Now, my daughter, she, she's, she's going to be six in June, but she's, you know, was going through that little phase where she, like, you know, licks her, like, upper lip and all that, so she was getting, like, that, that red, like, underneath here and over here. I used it on her, and it worked really good, so it really did help with, like, dry, you know, with dry skin, and also, too, she has, like, little, she gets, like, little dry, um, like, just little dry areas on her little hands where it got, like, a little red. And I put it on that a couple of nights and it went away. So I would say for dry skin, that works excellent. <laughs> um, for my lips, I didn't like it at all. So if you have dry skin, I would say try this out. You probably, it would work really well for you. But for me, I, I wouldn't buy again. The next item, this came through the Walmart Beauty Box too for winter. This was the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the color Fearless. And there was, I couldn't obviously figure out the price on this. Um, yeah, so I had no price for this. This was a very pretty color. Let me see if I can get, well, I don't think I can get anything. Yeah, I can't really get anything. It was a very pretty color for this little packet or this little, I don't know, piece of paper sample. This lasted, honestly, I would probably say like two weeks worth of product for me to do my cheeks. It is very, very pigmented and a little bit went a very, very long way. I am a big fan of Tarte, of the Amazonian, 12-hour Amazonian, whatever blushes. I love Tarte blushes, um, but I would put this on the list for me to buy at some point because this was a very pretty color. I really liked the way it looked on my skin, and like I said, it was very pigmented and it lasted a very long time, so I would pick up this color. I like that a lot. The next two more items. The next item is the Masquerade um, Detox Diva. It's like, this was actually cool. It's the first time I ever used it. So it's basically that whole face mask that comes in. You take out like that paper and it goes literally over your face. It has it on the eyes, yeah, your nose, and your mouth. Um, and then you leave it on for whatever, 20 minutes, and then you take it off. So 
This was one pouch or one mask. Uh, this I went, I mean, I went, it was fun to use because I never used something that was like in the shape of a face and went all over my face. But I, don't know, I just felt like it didn't really do anything. I mean, it was just, it was, I enjoyed using it, but it's not something that I would probably buy again. I would maybe purchase this, like, if you're getting together with some ladies or whatever, or like maybe if my sisters came out, you know, we're all together and we wanted to do something like this and we each had our own mask. But then it's like, I have a lot of other masks that I could, out of a jar that we could just all use. But maybe something like that. Uh, where you're with other people and you maybe don't want everybody's little hands dipping into your personal jar of, uh, of, uh, like of a mask. So, you know, each person gets a little packet. But I mean, I probably, I wouldn't buy these for myself again. So that was a no. And then the last item is the Suki Exfoliate Foaming Cleanser. And this was a .2 ounce jar. And the full size is a four ounce. Um, this, uh, I was really excited about using this because one, it has such, I love lemon. And it has such a nice lemon scent. Um, and so basically you're supposed to take this on dry hands and then just start, is it dry hands or I think it was, I think it was dry hands. And then, you know, you just try to get into a lather and then you put it over your face and everything. You're supposed to take off makeup and everything. Again, it's almost reminding me of that Vichy thing. This is just more of, this reminded me basically, the texture reminded me of a, uh, like a lip scrub. That was the texture of this. Um, and it did lather, but I had to use a lot for it to lather. And even after putting it on, it still, I felt like my face, it didn't take off everything. So, I mean, this is a no for me. So, all in all, this was 15 samples that I finished, and the grand total is $40.19. So, that is my March update. Um, I like doing it monthly because it does take me a while to get to them and use them and stuff like that. So, I'll hopefully keep it monthly as much as I can. Sometimes it might be two months, but I want to try to do it monthly. Um, and that's it. Uh, if you guys are doing these uh, sampled out projects, please let me know in the comments down below so I can follow you either through Instagram or YouTube or if you have a blog, let me know. Um, if you're not on any you know, the social media but you are doing it, then just leave me a comment. I'd love to just you know, know what you, you know, how many products you used up in the month and stuff like that. So it's just a way to keep each other accountable and to cheer each other on. Thanks again, uh, Mandy. I, I enjoy this project. I enjoy all the projects that you girls are putting out there. I mean, they are. They're, they're a lot of fun. So I'm enjoying this project too. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye. Mwah.